We are going to basically um, use our proofreading marks this week in our sentences. So I'll have the sentences like we normally have them where they're incorrect, but you will have to correct them. But this time when you correct them, you will use the proofreading marks to correct them. So that's how your test will be on Thursday. So we'll have sentences. You'll have to use the proofreader marks to correct them. So let's kind of go over the marks first before we kind of get into it, just to kind of refresh you on what the different marks are, okay? Miss Lugans? Yes? May I use the bathroom? Sure. All right, so we have the first one here, which is the delete. Remember, we use that symbol, that mark, whenever we need to take something out, okay? Next, we have the three lines, which means to capitalize, we only put the three lines when underneath the letter, not the word, underneath the letter that needs to be capitalized. Then we have SP, which is our spell check. We use that whenever something is spelled incorrectly. We have here the insert sim mark, which we put whenever we need to add something, whether it's adding a word or adding some type of punctuation. We use this symbol, and then we have the line to show lowercase. If something is capitalized that should not be capitalized, we would use this symbol to show that we need to lowercase whatever so word that is. Okay, so these are your symbols. And so let's go ahead. I have your sentences here. And I'll let you go ahead and do all four because I mean, we're kind of familiar with this already. So I'll let you do all four. I'll give you a little bit of time to work on all four and then we will discuss them. Okay, so number one says, Tom gave mom a pretty necklace. So you'll write the sentence down and then you'll use your proofreading marks to correct it, okay? So you're not writing it over, you're just using the proofreading marks to correct it, okay? Is everyone familiar how to do that? We've done it a few yes. times, okay? Right, write it how it is. Write it just like how it is and then put the proofreading marks inside of it to show how it should be written down correctly. Number two says, did you clean your room, John? So you can look at this one. Correct whatever is wrong with the proofreading marks. So write it just like this, okay? Just like this. Normally we write it correctly, but today, this week, you're writing it incorrectly. Then you'll use the proofreading marks to show what needs to be fixed. Number three says, Valerie is turning 10 next Sunday. And then number four says, I am so excited. Okay, does everyone understand? Yes, ma'am. Oh, yeah. Yes, ma'am. Any questions about this? No. Okay, Larry, we had a question. I did. The sentences are blurry. It's blurry? Okay. Um, uh -huh. Is it a little better? No, I no. can't see the sentences. It's a little blurry. Okay, is it blurry for anyone else? No. no, I don't know, Lyric. Maybe, maybe try to like check your screen. Maybe, like, uh, I don't, I don't know. I'm putting it closer, and I, I'm trying to fix it. So if you can't see it, it's, it's fine. I just, I'm trying to fix it as much no, as I can. No, I'm not. All right, let's start with the number one. Tom gave mom a pretty necklace. Would anyone like to tell me how I should have corrected this sentence? So you should have wrote it down just like this and then put your marks. Okay, go ahead, Camille. Capitalize T and Tom. Okay, so I should have three lines under the T and Tom. Mm -hmm. I did that so far. Yeah. Yes. And insert a period at the end. Okay. Is there anything else? Okay, there was one more thing on this one. Does anybody know what else? So, yes, those are correct, capitalized, and period. There's one more mark we need to make. Evan? Spell check on pretty. Yes, spell check on pretty. S P. How should I spell pretty? P O E T T Y. It's E T T Y. Okay. So that was a spell check on pretty. Okay. So if you didn't, if you missed something, go ahead and fix it. So we had to capitalize T. That was our three lines. Then we need to spell check pretty and then insert a period. Thank you, Camille and Evan. Number two. Did you clean your room, John? Okay, how should I have written this one correctly, Carly? 
Um, capitalize the D. First letter D, capitalize. And. Spell check. Spell check where? You. Spell check on you. This is not the correct way to spell you. How do we spell you? Y O U. Y O U. Okay. One more mark. I need to make. I need to make. I don't know. Okay, cause someone help her out. What is another mark I need to make on this sentence? Okay, Hannah. Unmute. So she said capitalize D, spell check on you. There's one more thing on this one, number two. It's kind of hard. I think we learned it. It's easy. It's not for everybody. Wait, what is this? Wait, is it John? We learned this before in second grade. How do you not know this anymore? Stop. Okay. Um, can someone okay, Josiah? You're on mute. Capitalize the J and John. J and John. That's the boy's name. Oh, John. Of Capitalize the J and I John. Did so did I everyone did. do that? Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Okay. J and John. So this is going to be important on the test Thursday to make sure you pay close attention to every single part of that sentence Aww. that you need to correct. Number three, Valerie is turning 10 next Sunday. How should I correct this one here? Okay, Harlem. Capitalize. The V. V and Valerie, okay. Okay, what we else? Start a period. Okay. Is that it? And capitalize the S. Okay. I did that. There's something else. Ooh, I know it. We made up a mark. Okay, can someone help him out? There's one last thing I needed to do on this particular lower sentence. The T. Okay, good. Yes, lowercase that T. This should have been a lowercase T. There's no reason to uh, capitalize turning. So we need to put the line to say this T needs to become little. Oh, I, I okay, number four. I, well, no, if you delete it, then you're taking out the T. You only delete when it's not useful. Okay, number four, I am so excited. How should I write this one correctly? I am so excited. I this one. Yep. You just have to okay, Lyric. I'm trying to get everyone's hand. I never went. I never went with the whole thing. Oh, you're on mute, Lyric. Exactly. Capitalize the I. Have a last I, good. And put a put a exclamation mark at the end. So that's an insert to show I need to put an exclamation mark. Yep, that one was easy. I am so excited. Awesome. Two things to do. Okay. So did some people miss some symbols? No, no sorry, marks. No. 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 Okay. Hmm. All right. So this is what our test will look like on Thursday. And so we'll practice tomorrow and Wednesday as well. Trying to make sure that we get this down. So that we're ready Thursday. All right. Let's go ahead and move on to our phonics lesson. And we'll start with chart 10. Uh,
No, let's start with chart 11. And all right, day? chart 11. Wait, did you do all of them today? No. All right, so we're finding chart 11. It's going to be the... Uh, did you do, do all of them today? Yeah. Yeah. All right, let's get started on three. One, two, three. O says, uh, 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 and shabba. And shabba. A says, uh, uh. Banana. C says, and city, A, U says, ah, 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 and faucet, A, W says, ah, 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 and soft, E, A says, E, 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 and leaf, E, A says, A, 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 and thread, E, A says, A, 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 and stay, I E says E E E in brownie. E Y says E E E in key. E Y says A A A in obey. P H says in phone. C H says in chorus. O U G H T says arts, arts, arts in thought. A U G H T says arts, arts, arts in caught. G says j, j, j in giant. D G E says j, j, j in fudge. All right, chart 11. Let's go on to chart 12. Wait, rice the honey. Wait, this one. Well, there's a purple do one. Oh. Do I like to live for today. All right, let's look at chart 12. A says, uh, 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 and asleep. A L says, all, 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 and also. B B says, B, 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 and because. E N says, in, 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 enjoy. U N says un 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 in unbutton. W R says rr 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 in wrinkle. O U L D says ud 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 in cut. A R R says air 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 in hair. U says uh 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 in push. O U G H says uh 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 in enough. O U says uh 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 in country. A R R says air 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 in carry. I R E says I R I R in fire. Good. Thank you for those that are saying the charts. All right, chart thirteen, our last chart. We'll do a couple of sounds off of that chart today. Yeah. All right. F U L says full, 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 and beautiful. A R E says air, 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 and care. P A I N says ton, 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 and mountain. U R E says your, 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 and pure. T U R E says chur, 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 and pasture. W A R says war 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 and war. T I O N says shun 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 and nation. S I O N says shun 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 and missionary. S I O N says shun 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 and television. E I G H says A A A N H O R says er 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 in sailor A R says er 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 in dollar Y says I I I in crystal 
E R R says air, air, air in cherry. All right, so that is phonics chart 13. So today we're going to move on to two sounds off of chart 13, which are U R E, year, like in fear, and T U R E, that says sure, like in pasture. Hey, would anyone like to mark this word for us? Okay, go ahead, Carly. Circle T R T R N U R E and E A E A. What's the word? Treasure. Treasure. Okay, next one here. New one, Hannah. T U R E T U R E. Chur. What's the word? Nature. Nature. Next one. Anyone like to mark this one? Briar? E A. E A. And Amazon's right there. And you are your. What's the word? Oh, I thought it was S. Measure. 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 Next one here. Anyone would like to do this in Harlem? Yes. I know. I I'm sorry. Go ahead, Harlem. You're on mute. S C R S C R T U R E T U R E Chur. What's the word? Scripture. 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 Good. All right. So today we are going to learn. So in your book, you've been practicing identifying nouns, which we covered already. Uh, but in your book, <clears throat> you can find that person, place, or thing are nouns. So today we're going to learn about two different kinds of nouns. So we have what's called a singular noun and a plural noun. Okay. So singular and plural only deals with nouns. As you can see, I have cat, pencil, friend, toy. These are all nouns. Cat is a thing, pencil is a thing, friend is a person, toy is a thing. Okay? So cat, pencil, friend, and toy. Now, all of these words I have on the singular side. Whenever I say that a noun is singular, it means that it's the only one. It's one by itself. So when I say the cat, that's only one. The pencil, that's only one. For my friend, that's one. Whenever you say a singular noun, that means only one. It's not more than one, it's only one. Now, so of course, the opposite plural would mean what? More than one. So that could be two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, whatever. So singular, whenever we say a singular noun, that means only one. When we say a plural noun, that means more than one. 10, five, seven, whatever. It's more than one. Now, how we turn something from singular to plural is what will make a difference. Because when I say cat, I'm only talking about one cat. But when I want to turn cat into a plural noun, meaning making cat more than one, all I simply do is add the letter S. I knew it. Cat. Cats. I knew it. Now when I say the cats, that now cats is a plural noun, and obviously that means I'm going to have more than Whoa. one cat. Anytime you want to, want to turn some words into plural nouns, all you simply do is add the letter S to the end of it. That S lets us know that it's more than one. It is a plural noun now. One second. Okay, so then I have pencil. How would I turn singular pencil one into a plural more than one? What would I do, Brian? Pencils. 
I would add the S, pencils. Now it's a plural noun. It's no longer just a singular noun, pencil, but now it's plural. Next, I have friend. Friend is singular, one, but let's turn friend into a plural noun. Solomon, how would I turn friend into a plural noun? Add an S. Add an S, so it becomes friends. So this is simple. Now, some of them, we actually have to change the letters. We'll get to that eventually, but for now, all you simply do is add the S to turn a singular noun, meaning one noun, into a plural noun more than one. So I have toy, singular, only one, Let's turn toy into a plural noun more than one. Okay. Evan? Just add an S at the end and it becomes toys. Toys. Okay. So singular nouns mean that it's only one. Plural noun means that it's more than one. And usually we'll have that S at the end of it that shows us that this is a plural noun, it's more than one. Singular means one, single, one. Plural means two, I mean, more than one. It could be 10, it could be 20, 30, 40, whatever. It's going to be more than one. Anytime a noun is plural, it's more than one, okay? Does everyone understand? Yeah. I will practice yes. some more with it, but I just want to make sure everybody kind of gets it. Yeah? Yes. Okay, singular and plural nouns. All right, go ahead and get out your book. Let's do the dictation at the bottom. Is it 131? Yes, 131. Mine was actually tight. How did it drop? That's 131. My water drop. What is in the box? So it's past this day? No, it's not too good. I'm going to go to the house. People always mix up the puzzles and they use the puzzles. No, they don't. We didn't have time to do this page. Thirty-one. I got two. We're gonna do one hundred and thirty and one hundred and thirty-one today. Are we doing this one today? Mm -hmm. Then we do thirty-two and one hundred. All right, are we ready? Yeah. Yep. Yes. All right. So it's pretty simple today. It's only two words. Okay. So the first word is sparrow. Sparrow, like a bird, a sparrow. I forgot how to spell sparrow. Sparrow. Uh-huh. 
Sparrow. We have that A R R air like in carry. The O W O like in both. And S P. You know S P. All right, next one. Joyful. This is pretty easy. Joyful. Joyful. This is two because the joyful. How is our waters are dropping? All right, joyful. What do we have? J J J O I F L L J O Y F U L. So we have O Y O I and F U L full like in beautiful. You did L. Yeah, we have O Y O I and F U L full like in beautiful. You did L. Like in beautiful. All right, awesome. All right, so that's our dictation for today. All right, you're gonna need your math book. You can get your math book out for me. Does everyone have their part two already? Because part one, we'll finish part one this week. So is everybody ready with their part two of their book? We did a part two on my book. I got part two. Oh, okay, awesome. We're Wait, Matt. We did the part two on our book, Miss Cogan. Hmm? part two on our book, Miss Cogan. I need to see this thing. It's next week. All right, so I want to show you something in your book. Wait, are we doing the minus this? Wait, no, we're not doing that. I just wanted to show you something. What page? Um, sorry, hold on. Wait a minute. Shiny. Okay, so real quick, before we're not in the book today, I just want to show you something before it's Thursday. Okay. So this week and from now on, when you take your math assessments, you will have two tests. In math, we usually have two tests a week. Now we'll have three tests every single week in math from now on, okay? okay. okay. So when you take your test Friday, you'll have this one here, 13-1. I want you to see it. Can you find it? It's not that far in because we're towards the back of our book. Wait, so it's, it's way in the back. We're like way in the back. Your book is backwards. Oh, okay, so we'll have a 13 1. Then when you'll flip, you'll have your 100 facts, which will be 13 2. Okay, then you'll have your regular fact assessment, which we're on 13, I believe, this week. Yes. So, and I want you to see this so that you can turn all three in on Thursday. You'll have three math tests for, for a while, okay? We'll have three math tests. It's going to be like this for a little while, probably like a month or two. We'll have three math tests every single week. But I want you to see it today in preparation for that on Thursday, okay? So let your parents know that from now on in math, we have three math tests, okay? It's always going to be a, a dash one, a dash two, and then it'll have the assessment page, okay? That's one of them. Yeah, but we're not gonna. Miss Clojure, what was it again? Miss Clojure, I have a question. Okay, is everybody clear on that? Yes. 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 So we'll have, we're not in the math book today. I just wanted to show you that before we, you know, take the test on Thursday, we'll have three tests now in math. You have two assessment, two fact assessments, and then you'll have one work page. Okay, this will be every week. Did that. Just keep that in mind so that you're not missing the test. Miss Blue Jet. Yes. 
How many more steps do we gotta do? Um, like four. Three, mouth talk. Hey, Flutie, can I write it down so I won't, so I won't forget? You got me in here. Yeah, well, yeah, like, it's kind of crazy. Mm-hmm. All right, let's go over some math facts. Yeah, math facts. I love these. Yeah. Bottom line. And I didn't see the other one. All right.
equals three, three, three. Seven minus zero equals seven, seven, seven. Ten minus one equals nine, nine. Four minus zero equals four, four, four. Three minus one equals two, two. One minus one equals zero. Zero. All right. Awesome. All right. You'll need a little sleep paper. We have a couple of things you'll do on the board. Yeah, you can get your tablet. Three minus one. Take paper. Take paper. Wait, get paper? He said get our paper. What is a tablet? No, use your notebook. You know what I'm talking about. I like using paper. I thought you told us to get a paper. No, you you meant paper. Ms. Bluetooth, I can't hear you. I wasn't saying anything. All right, so we have a couple of things that we will kind of work on on the board, some yeah. facts and some coins, but let's start with our coins up here, okay? So I have eight nickels. Can we draw this out? Eight nickels to figure out how much money that will be. Remember, nickels are worth five cents. Okay. How much money would eight nickels be? Go ahead and write it out. Make sure that's even lines. That means Eight. Eight nickels. Okay. Easy. You for the wrong amount. I never asked her to get up. I did not. No. Oh, wrong thing. Very fine. I swear, it's thirty five. There's 35. It's, it can't. Okay, anybody has an amount for me? How much money would eight nickels be? Eight nickels would be a total of how much, Josiah? I almost got it. 25 cents. How much? 25 cents. Not 25, eight nickels? Mm, that's five nickels, but not eight. Okay, let's see. Um, all right, Camille, what you have? How much money would eight nickels be? 40, 40 cents. 40 cents. That's what it should have been. 40 cents. Yes, I did, Evan. You don't know. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. All right, next amount, I have four dimes and seven nickels. Remember, a dime is worth 10 cents and a nickel is worth five. Oh, this Draw out your four tens, then add your seven fives in there, seven nickels. Four dimes. Miss Fluger, uh huh. May I use the bathroom? Sure. I forgot a game for the 
Oh, I know the answer. Oh, it's fun. They keep looking like a ape. I know, but stop looking. Why are you saying the other out loud? No, right. You can go grab the paper for me. She's not doing the I know she's not. Okay, anybody has an amount? I know. For four dimes. All right, Hannah, what you have? Seventy-five. Seventy-five cents. Yes. Your four dimes was forty. Then seven nickels, forty-five, fifty, fifty-five, sixty, sixty-five, seventy, seventy-five. All right. Next one, I have five dimes and one nickel. Five dimes, one nickel. Five dimes, one nickel. 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 Oh, yeah. I'm gonna use a short one. I got it because it's really not that hard. I'm gonna get it. 55. Stop it. She said it. But you did. And you did it with the other one. Everyone can learn how it is. by herself. And if she keeps giving out an answer, nobody's going to believe her. Next time she gets the answer, I'm just going to do Okay, five dimes and one nickel. How much money should that be? All right, Evan. 55 cents. 55. Five dimes was 50. One nickel was. Five cents, so 50 and five make 55. Awesome. All right, let's go ahead and do some addition. Let's start with this one. 31 plus 29. Let's see who remembers how to carry over. I know. I know what to do. 31 plus 29. Oh, I thought we were saying it out loud. Come on, Bear. Do that, Mm-hmm. 35. Where's 35? It's 31. Oh. Can I show you it, Mr. Yeah. Can I show it to you? No, I just addressed that a few minutes ago. I'm not going to change my mind. You can't put my picture. No, seriously. You said the answer. For the dollars and cents. No, for a service and I'll fly them off. Underneath your table. It's a fly. I'm in the middle of the table. Just just leave it. It's not bothering anybody. Okay, let's see. Can I see answers for those that are ready? Those that are ready? Let me see how well we're working these problems out. A little closer. Now don't look to do nobody's paper because they might not have it right. Okay, I just see two. I'm assuming everybody else is still trying to figure it out. I love Okay, done. Give the answer. Stop looking. Okay. Okay. I have this. I hide the book. I mean, I do it. Miss Lucy. Yeah, I have to hide the case. Mm-hmm. Because there's my one. 
Okay. All right, Carly to the board working this one out. So Carly's gonna come work this one out. So let's see if our answers are correct. This one? Mm -hmm. So 31 plus 29. So where am I starting? Okay, so that's one plus nine. It equals 10. So how do I show 10? Because I cannot put the number 10 down there. So how do I show 10? One. Okay. Zero. Okay, put the zero. And then what do I do with the one and 10? Because that's just the zero. I still have the one and 10. So what do I do with that one? At the top. Where though? Right here. Mm -mm. I already added the back. So I need to put it on top in the front. So up there. So now what am I adding? Three plus two. And, uh-uh, and look, you put the one. So when you put that one up here, you're saying now I need to add the one with these numbers. So now you're adding one plus three. Connect that. That's why I would always do the triangle. I would do one plus three equals four. Four plus two equals six. I got that. Okay, so remember, when you carry over, make sure... You're putting that one and you're actually adding the one. Don't just put the one and not add it. Put the one on top of the tens column and make sure to add it. Yes. 60 cents was my answer. Some of you did have that. I did. I did. All right, let's look at our second one. 17 plus 65. Go ahead and set this one up. 17 plus 65. 17 plus 65. Right here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do it. Do it, Miss Yeah, work it out. This is awesome. 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 I start with the bag first. So that's second. Okay. We got carry over. Okay, let's see some answers. If you worked it out, that's two. I worked it out. I don't think so. She said no show. Okay, it's honestly best if you set it up like this. If you try to set it up side by side, it's going to be extremely hard to add it up. So you may want to set them up just like this. Okay? This helps you when you have to carry over. So set it up just like this. Don't do it side by side. That's going to be extremely hard to add and to get the correct answer. Okay. All right. So 17 plus 65. Brian, come and work this one out. Yeah. So where am I starting? Okay, seven plus five is what? Twelve. Okay, I put the two. Where do I bring my one? Okay, and how do I add the front numbers? Two. Mm -hmm. Two plus six. Eight. Okay, her answer is 82 cents. I did that. 82 cents. I did that. Oh. Yeah, awesome. We know this. Yeah, well, some. 
All right, let's look at the next one. 68 cents plus 24 cents. 68 cents plus 24 cents. No, that. No. This one is hot. Oh. Let's do it. I love this. I love magic. Yeah. Got in his little bit. All right. I'm doing the thing I asked you not to do. All right, so let's go ahead and go with this one. Evan, come work this one out for us. Okay, so that's 68 plus 24. Mm -hmm. So start where? In the back. So A plus 4 is? 12. Okay, what do I put? 2. Put one. one up there. One plus six is seven. Seven. You're right, hard. Mm -hmm. Seven, and then seven plus two. Yeah. Nine. Answer should have been ninety-two. Yeah, ninety-two. Everybody had that. Yes. Anybody have a question? Any questions about this? You having a little bit of issue with it? No. Are we sure? It's okay. Okay, I'll know when I grade your test. That's what I always know. All right, so let's go ahead. Okay, and practice a little bit adding when we. Learn how to add numbers like this, more than two numbers. Plus two plus eight plus nine plus seven plus three plus four. Miss Lujan. Uh huh. I did you hours. I do you one. Oh really? Plus nine, plus seven, plus eight, plus nine, plus 
plus three plus four. So all you have left is one more three. I got it. I got it. Six. Three plus four. Seven. Three plus four. I got it. I got it. I got it. Plus three. Plus. Oh, got it. Okay, I got it. Oh, now I got it. Oh, there's two pins. And a three. Ten plus ten. Ten plus ten. Three plus ten. Okay, so. Okay, still working, yeah. Okay. Ten plus two plus. I got it. I got it. I Okay, now I'm going to do it in a second. I'm looking at the board while I'm writing. Nine plus one because ten. I'm going to do it in a second. One plus two. 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 Do our first one. Do I use a black marker? Um, mm -hmm. Oh, Miss Thibodeau. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, I mean, it's going to do this one. I remember this. So we start with connecting our tens. We have two and eight is ten. Then we have a nine and one, make ten. Seven and three, make another ten. That's it. So we have ten, twenty, thirty plus four makes thirty-four. So we had all of these right. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, cool. All right, so last, I want to go over a Venn diagram. Remember, we discussed what a Venn Bro, diagram is. Belong. It's a type of graph. It's just not in graph, a regular graph form. Instead, it's, it's in the diagram with the circles, okay? Remember, in a Venn diagram, we have two sides. I mean, sorry, three sides. We have one side where it's only one thing, and the other side, only one thing. But then we have a middle section in a Venn diagram, and that's what makes Venn diagrams different. So this middle section 
Help. lets us know that the people like both, okay? So usually when we have a Venn diagram, we're choosing between two options, okay? Only two options. So let's say we asked everyone their favorite fruit out of, I mean, favorite vegetable, but I put apple, banana, but I meant favorite fruit. So we have apples and bananas. So apple and banana. I meant to put favorite fruit. Some banana. Okay. Yeah. So we're going to say Tom, Lee, and Joe like apples. Sam, Tim, Fred, Kate like bananas. Harry, 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 and and Ned said they like both. Okay, do we see who likes what? All right, so we filled in our Venn diagram. So who can tell me how many people only like apples? They only like apples. Okay, Solomon, how many? Tom, um, me, and Joe. How many is that? Three. Three. So only three people said they like apples. Good. How many people like only bananas? They like only bananas. How many people? Josiah. Four. Four. How many people said that they like both fruits? Both fruits. Briah? Three. Three people that are both in the middle. How many people like bananas all together? How many people like bananas all together? Carly? 10. Not 10. I know it. Seven. Seven, yes. The four here and then the three in the middle. Good. Okay, Good. what person? Could you tell me someone who said that they only like apples? Who is someone that said they only like apples? Evan. Tom. Tom. Who is someone that said they only like bananas? Camille? Fred. Fred, good. So that's just some practice with the Venn diagram. You will have one in your book on today. So just be careful answering those questions. All right, let's go ahead to, um, to reading and then we have language and we'll be done. So we're actually starting our new book. Everybody has this book? You should. Yes. Hidden Treasure. Okay. And I don't have a Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'm not a little Hidden treasure. Wow. Yeah, I should have stayed. This is really cool. This is the book. I like marshmallows. I like this book. It smells like marshmallows. The golden touch. Once upon a time, there was golden touch. Mayflower. Yeah. Once upon a time, there was golden touch. Mayflower. Yeah. Mayflower. 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 All right, so the golden touch, page four. Okay, go ahead, Hannah. Every time you ask me, I don't pick you. Golden touch. Once upon a time, there lived a very rich, rich king whose name was Midas. He was a goddess. I do not know her name. We call her Marigold. This king was very fond, fond of gold. He loved it more than anything else in the world. Okay, good. Just let's try to work on slowing down a little bit. Okay, but very good. All right, so number five, I mean, page five. So we're introduced to the king. His name was King Midas, and he has a little daughter, right? And so he didn't know what to call her. He decides to name her Marigold, okay? And so what did the king really love? Gold. Gold. Love gold. All right. Let's keep reading. Okay, come on, Carly. When Mary Gold picked buttercups and dandelions, her father used 
to say if these flowers were as gold as they look, I would pick them too. One day, King Midas. Me, I, I say Midas, but go ahead. Midas was in his treasure room. Counting the treasure, he looked up and saw a stranger in the room. You are a rich man, friend, Midas would say. The stranger, yes, I have some gold, answer Midas, yes. that, but it is not enough. Okay, you can stop there. Good. Okay. So, so King Midas is in his treasure room looking at all his treasure. And his friend is like, you are so rich, right? He has so much gold. But was that enough no. for him? No. Not for the king. He said it wasn't enough. Now his friend was like, man, this is a lot of gold. But the king said, no, it's not enough. Okay, let's keep reading on page five. All right, go ahead, uh, Josiah. We're on what? What cried the stranger? What cried the stranger? Are you not satisfied? My just shook his head. What would you satisfy, satisfy you? What do you wish? King Midas saw and saw at last. He looked at the stranger and said, I wish that everything I touch may turn gold. Are you sure you want that to be satisfied then? Okay. So whenever the king says he does not have enough gold, his friend says, well, what would you like in order to have a lot of gold? He said that everything he touched would turn into gold. Now that sounds like a great idea, right? Because pretty much he can touch anything and it'll become gold and gold is worth a lot. But we'll see. All right, page six. All right, come on, Amina. That's a boy. Yes, answer Amina. I would ask for nothing more. It shall be as you wish, says the stranger tomorrow. My son, you shall have a, the golden touch. When the sun peeped into the room, King Midas jumped out of bed. He touched a chair. It turned to gold. He touched the bed and the table, and they were changed to solid, shining gold. He dressed himself and all his clothes were gold. Then King Midas Midas went into the garden. Now he thought I can have the most beautiful garden in the world. So he touched the leaves and flowers, and they became shining gold. When the king had done this, he was hungry, so he went to the place for his breakfast. Okay, good. Hi. So the king, everything is working out, right? Everything he's touching is turning into gold. That's exactly what he wanted, right? He touched the chair. He touched a bed, a table. He went to his garden and made the whole thing go. So he's super excited, right? He's like, this is perfect. Everything is turning into gold, just like I wanted it to. Okay, let's look at page seven. All right, go ahead, Harlem. Yeah. He tried to drink some coffee. When he touched it with his lips, it changed to gold. He touched the fish on his plate. It became a pretty goldfish. And 
He could not eat it. He took an egg that two turned into gold. You would think it was laid by the golden goose, but King Metis is the only goose in this story. Okay. So, just saying that he's like foolish. So King Minas, he, he, you know, it's all going perfect, but when does it start to become a problem for him? Whenever he what? He can't eat. He can't, he can't eat, eat, right? It's Everything is turning into gold. When he tries to drink, cup turns into gold. When he tries to pick up his food to eat, turns into gold, right? And so, yeah, that's why it seemed like it was a great idea initially, of course, to turn everything into gold, but now he can't even eat. Mm. All right, page eight. That's a man. Oh, well, that's just talking about. It. Yeah. All right. So page eight. Right. All right. Justin. Marigold. Marigold ran to her father and put her. Hopefully, they get to get some. ARR. About his neck. Good morning. Dear father, she said. The king kissed his little daughter, my dear, dear, near gold. He cried, mm -hmm. but Rambo didn't not and. Um, Answer. In, mm -hmm. in, enter. Oh, 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 his dear daughter has, I mean, his sweet little miracle was transformed to leaves. Change. Change in. Changed to gold by his kiss. King. Oh, you just up there. Okay. All right. So now something very unfortunate happens. What happens to his daughter? He turns to gold. Because she hugged him. She touched, well, he touched, you know, whenever she hugs him, they he touched her. So now his daughter is gold. So does the king regret making this choice? Yes. Yes. He's like, oh, I should have never done this. He thought it was a good idea because he didn't think in terms of like, well, if I touch people, they'll turn into gold, like my daughter. But he only thought about, oh, I, if I touch this, if I touch that, I'll be rich. I'll be this. But he didn't think about like people and also not being able to eat. Okay. So now his daughter has turned into gold. Okay. All right. Let's keep reading. Eight. Is she a statue now? Wait. Someone who didn't go? I did. I'm talking about that. Okay, go, Omar. I don't have it. Oh, okay.
Okay, go ahead. Uh, go ahead, Josiah. Oh, well, hold on. I'm sorry. Josiah, did you read? Yeah, okay. Well, Lyric got has her hand up. Okay, go, Lyric. We're still on page eight. King Midas wept. That's where we are. We're in like the middle. Where are we at? Uh, page eight. What was it? Find it. King. King me this way. King. Okay. King lit. New. What? That. Still, he did not cry for gold. His little daughter has his little daughter was turned to him. Then, then all the gold in the world knew, knew can I live, live about my dear Marigold. Marigold, he thought I would give all my money if you, if my little girl would come back to me. The starting, no. Stranger? The stranger came again. Well, friend. Meet, meet us. Meet us. He said, who do you like? Who do you like? The golden hooked touch. Okay. I uh, oh, you can stop there. Good. Okay. So after this happens with his daughter, how does he feel about gold now? Unhappy. Unhappy. He doesn't like it, right? He's like, I don't care about gold as much as I did before, right? And so the man comes back. He says, well, friend, how do you like it? And he's like, uh, let's look at nine. No. I am very unhappy that Midas. I know now that gold is not everything. Let us see, said the stranger. Which do you think? Is what most the golden touch or oh, a cup of water? A cup of water, cried the king. The golden touch or oh, crust of bread? Give me a crust of bread, answered the king. The golden touch or oh, your deal there, very good. Okay, good. All right, so he realizes this is not a great idea, he was unhappy about it. And so the stranger says, okay, what do you think is worth more, water or gold? And the king says, what? Water. He says, water. water. Okay. He says, the golden touch or your daughter? The daughter. All right, let's see. Okay, page 10. I'm looking now. Page 10. All right, go ahead, Josiah. Oh, my child, my dear, 
my dear child, cried Medea. She is worth more than all the gold in the world. Go then to the river at the foot of your garden, said the stranger. The water of the river will take away the golden touch. Fill this pitcher with the water and sprinkle everything you have touched. King Midas ran through the garden and jumped into the river. Then he filled the pitcher and ran back to the palace. He sprinkled the water over the golden cloud and she became his own dear little laughing, dancing marigold once more. Awesome. So thank you, Josiah. So after, you know, he the man, the friend realizes that the king really doesn't love gold more than he loves his daughter. What does he tell him to do in order to get his daughter back? Put it in the river. Go to the river. Go to the river and get what? Water. 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 And whenever she, the water will be poured on her, what would happen? She would turn back into turn. a human. Yeah, she would come back to herself, a human. Wait, can yes. she still move like that? Mm -hmm. yeah. Can she still move like I that? I doubt it. No. Yes. So, did the king learn a lesson? Yes. yes. Yeah, a lot of things yeah. he probably learned. One, be, be satisfied with what he had, right? He already had a lot of gold. You know, but he was so greedy. Look what happened. He wanted to get more and more and more and look how it backfired. So he should have been grateful for what he had. And also just because something seems like it would be a great idea, it's it not always a great idea because that was not a great idea. Okay, awesome. All right, so that's our reading lesson. Let's go ahead and move on to our language. You'll need to write down, we're learning helping verbs today. You'll have to write them down. They're a long list. So you may want to get a piece of paper ready. Wait, helping verbs. So that you have it down. Yes, that's our last form of verb. So we've done action, we've done state of being, and we've done linking verbs. So we're moving on to the last part, which are helping verbs. So what is a verb? A verb is a verb that words together or help another Yes, it's getting better on your test. Some, some of it's still a little, but for the most part, I think over everyone has the full definition down. So a verb is a word that does an action. We talked about action verbs. It shows a state of being like I am, she is. Links two words together like I am seven or she is running. So we're, and then we showed how links and verbs will link two parts of a sentence together. And then this week, we're moving on to helping verbs. Today, I'm only giving you the list so that you can become familiar with the list. And then tomorrow, we'll go, we'll practice with some sentences, okay? So just like state of being and linking verbs had the same list, helping verbs have the same verbs, but they have more, okay? So the am, is, are, was, were, be, being, been. So when I graded your test on last week, a lot of tests, that are graded, people did not know the list of state of being and linking verbs. A lot of tests are graded. I think only like a few are graded actually have the verbs right. A lot of people, I don't know. So please make sure that you are writing down the list. That's why I have you write it down every single time so that you can go back over it when you review it for your test on Thursday. So when I ask for it on Thursday, you should be able to tell me what the list is. So I make you write it every Monday. We write it, top of the week, okay? But I can tell who's not writing it because we're on the test, we didn't have it. So please make sure that you are writing down the list as we're going through them. I mean, I'm on helping verbs now. The videos are up if you need to figure out the state of being and linking. <laughs> so anyway, am, is, are, was, were, be, being, been. These are the state of being and linking verbs. They have the same exact list. Now, these same verbs, am, is, are, was, were, be, be, and been, are also what we call helping verbs. But that's not the only list for helping verbs. Okay? So we do have am, is, are, was, were, be, be, and been. But then we go into have, has, had. Okay, these are some new ones. Have, has, had. Do, does, did, 
Yes, they are a lot. Do, does, did, shall, will, should, would, may, might, must. I know it's the writing. May, might, must, can, could. That is a lot. So just know, when you don't list them correctly on your test, it automatically drops you a letter grade on your test, meaning it's automatically dropping you to a B. So that means if you get anything else wrong on the test, it's making your grade go lower. So please write down the list. Practice your list. Go over it so that on the test on Thursday, when I ask, can you list them, you can so these are all of the helping verbs. The, and we'll explain, I'll show you how they're helping verbs tomorrow. But today I want you to just get the list down. So am, is, are, was, were, be, being, can. will, should, would, may, my, must, can, could. Again. Am, is, are, was, were, be, being, been. Have, has, had, do, does, did, shall, will, should, would, may, my, must, can, could. I don't like it. So go ahead, write the whole list. I'll give you a minute or so. To oh, I already did it. <laughs> Make sure you have every wow. so I did that already. I don't know how already. I just introduced them today. Miss Golden, while you were saying them, I was doing it. Uh-huh. You shouldn't be. She told you while she was doing it, you can do it. So I no, guess she didn't. She said that. Listen. No. I'm not, no, just do what I need you to do. Thank you. I can't really see. D. At least the first Why? part is better. Yes. I can't really uh -huh. see. Miss Fuji, mm -hmm. the first part is so easy. After I zoom, the next one is so easy. Watch. Huh? After I zoom, the next one is can I show you something? If we have time. Three of them. Okay, got it. Do we skip a line, Miss Blugin, after um, the first one, Miss Blugin? No, they're all together. Oh. Mm -hmm. There's literally so much. It's like, why would you put that much? You don't even have helping verbs at the top. I was looking at them. I have helping verbs. Me too. Can I get started with? No, no. Hey, do we skip a line? Miss Blue, yeah. it is more to that, Miss Blue. Oh, that's it. No, answer. Just kidding. But it was a lot, and we had to write this on the essay. Now we have to start. Okay. Did I have to read for the rest of my life? Miss Blue, you forgot comma after a did. Wait, did it? Miss Blue, you forgot comma after did. No, you don't need to come after me. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. I'm Okay, wait for me. Well, 
practice 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 tomorrow we will uh, i will show you how they help how they are helping birds in sentences okay all right all right so let's go ahead and go over your spelling for this week and that'll be our last thing for today okay we're on list 14 more than three today. I think I said six today. All right, so let's go ahead and look at your list. All right, so number one, let's say it. Cover, C-O-V-E-R, cover. Two, China, C-H-I-N-A, China. Three, ounce. O U N T E ounce. Four pause. P A U S E pause. Five draw. G R A V draw. Five easy. E A S Y easy. Six weather. Oh. Seven weather. W E A T H E R. A Monday, Monday, M O N D A Y, Monday, nine thousand T H O U S A N D thousand ten pencil T E N C I L pencil eleven autumn A U T U M N autumn. 12, teacher, T-E-A-C-H-E-R, teacher, 13, bread, B-R-E-A-D, bread, 14, month, M-O-N-T-H, month, 15, either, E-I-T-H-E-R, either, 16, once, once, O-N-C-E, once, 17, busy, B-U-S-Y, busy. All right, here's your Greek and Latin for this week. Okay, your Greek word is holos. Holos. H-O-L-O-S, holos, and it means whole, entire. 
Like when I say the whole thing. And in your Latin word, divinus. D-I-V-I-N-U-S. Divinus. And it means God-like. Like when I say divine. And then hominis. H-O-M-O-N-I-S. Which means man, human being. So get the word human. Okay, so your Greek word is holos, whole entire. Your Latin word is divinus, godlike, and hominus, man, or human being. So these are your Greek and Latin words, your spelling word for spelling words for this week. You have 20 words total like normal. Okay. All right. So that is it for us on today. Um, I thank y'all. I hope y'all have a great day on today, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye-bye.